Hey Hop family, it's Hannah Darden and I want to talk to you a little bit about inflammatory breast cancer and the IBC network. I was diagnosed with stage 4 inflammatory breast cancer on November 1st of 2011. I was 26 years old and I had never even heard of inflammatory breast cancer. When looking up information, I found that IBC is considered to be rare, like um, 4 to 6 percent of all breast cancer patients. It's um, very aggressive. It's usually not diagnosed until stage 3 or in my case stage 4. And it is considered to be fatal because it has about a 40 percent five-year survival rate. When you're given a diagnosis that is considered rare, it has a tendency to make you feel alone. And when that diagnosis is also considered to be very aggressive and fatal, it has a tendency to make you feel like the situation could just be hopeless. But for me, that's where the IBC network stepped in. While receiving treatment at MD Anderson, at the Inflammatory Breast Cancer Research Clinic, I met a woman by the name of Terry Arnold, and she is the founder of the IBC Network. And through her and her foundation, I realized I wasn't alone and it wasn't hopeless. Terry also fought inflammatory breast cancer, and she now works tirelessly to bring women together who are battling this disease and give them support and have them support each other and to also spread awareness about this disease that so many women, including myself, had never even heard of until they were given a late stage cancer diagnosis. So they say that IBC is rare, but we're not rare, we're real. We are real women fighting a real disease and we need real research, real treatment, and a real cure. Because inflammatory breast cancer has a rare status, we receive rare attention and little federal funding for research and clinical trials. So the IBC network works to fund clinical trials and research directed specifically for inflammatory breast cancer, triple negative cancers, and late stage cancer. And that's where you step in. When our community um, gets together and does our flag football tournament, um, we're going to be raising funds for the IBC network. And those funds are going to be directly affecting patients with inflammatory breast cancer. The funds that we raise are going to breathe life into clinical trials and research that so many women depend on to receive their care. I am actually on my second clinical trial. So thank you so much Hawks for showing support, raising awareness, and giving some love to all the women that are affected by IBC. For more information, please visit the ibcnetwork.com.